Thanks, Dan. More than $5 million, the largest gift in Winona State University history. Last night, we told you about the donor, Maynard Mo Weber. His father was a famous artist who actually exchanged paintings with Pablo Picasso. So much of Mo Weber's gift will support the art program. But News 19's Dave Soli will tell you that's not all. And Dave, there is a lot more to this gift, right? Well, Heather, there is. And coincidentally, it can be explained using one of Max Weber's paintings. Mo was quite a character, his father a very famous artist. And many of Max Weber's paintings will become part of the gallery planned for the Laird Norton Center for Art and Design, a project possible because of Mo Weber's more than $5 million gift to Winona State University. Art is one of Mo Weber's passions. And he was always very generous, very talkative, and very supportive. Of, of art at Winona State and uh, curious to know uh, what students thought of his father's paintings. This one, for example, a sports piece, rare for Max, according to Belay, but it helps explain his son's other passion from which the university will also benefit. Mo, uh, you know, loved sports, loved baseball, coached baseball, played baseball, and uh, you know, his father was this you know, groundbreaking painter and so this painting maybe represents where those two interests meet. So along with his donation to the arts, part of Moe's gift, more than $1 million, will provide support for Winona State Baseball. Appropriate gifts for Mo for the city where he spent his college years. Winona has a history as a baseball town and it, longer than its history more recently as an arts town. A history that will continue at Winona State Moe's gift will support the baseball program, work on the Laird Norton Center for Art and Design, the Mo Weber Gallery Within featuring his father's art, while continuing scholarship programs. A lasting legacy for which the university is grateful. But if Winona State President Scott Olson had a choice... We'd rather have Mo than the gift. Mo was an amazing character, wonderful person, uh, one of a kind as was his gift, the largest in the life of Winona State University from a larger than life graduate. A WSU President Scott Olson says Mo visited the university almost every year. When Olson visited Mo where he lived in Virginia, he says it was like walking around with a movie star because Heather Olson says everyone knew him and everyone loved him. Thank you. Great story, Dave. Mo Weber graduated from Winona State in 1950. He passed away in July of 2019. He was 96 years of age.